Now let's see how our top-down tree automaton reads a tree. And when we read a tree, we um, we use those transitions. And we when we want to do as many transitions as we need, we call them delta star. Or um, sometimes you you may see something like delta with a small triangle on it. But um, well, that's the same. And I use a star here. Well, and we want to put those three into those transition definition. And our automaton states that when we when the automaton starts, we are in the initial state Q0. So we begin our reading of the tree in the initial state Q0. And here in the right side we place the, the automaton in the in the bracket format. So in that will be our tree that we want to read. And it's A as a root node and its children are B and C. So, and then we want to make a transition. Let's see what our definition says when we are in Q0, like here, and we want to read an A, like here, then our automaton shall go into Q1 and Q0, Q2. Let me, maybe let's, let me do this in color. So now I can use this transition and we will have two new transitions that we want to take care of. Our left, where well, the automaton will split up, our left child or our left automaton will go into the left child. So we are in, like our definition says, it will go into Q1 and Q1 goes to the left child. So Q1 is left with reading the B. And then um, the automaton will go into another state, which is Q2. Well, and Q2 will go to the right right child. And well, there must be always as many states as there are children nodes. So our those uh, the right automaton in Q2 will have will be left to read those C. And then, well, now for each of, this, um, of the transitions, or for each of the both of the children automaton, we have to do the same thing. So with that, we can do um, two new transitions. And the left one is in Q0, Q1, where we want to read a B. So there we can use this transition. And we are left with, well, from Q1 with a B, we go into Q3. And there will be nothing left to read. Uh, well, there's uh, the empty tree left to read, which we denote as something like this. And there's also our right side where we are, our right child automaton where we are in Q2 and we want to read uh, C, that's what we can do here. And we get another transition where we are in Q3. We read so C and there's nothing left. So there's only the empty tree left. Well, and we have, we, there are no other transitions that we can use. And now the tree will be accepted if the automaton is in the final state in every automaton or in every leaf. Well, our final state is Q3. And as you can see, both of our automatons are in Q3. And that means that the tree will be accepted by our automaton.